Oh, man. Here we go, man. Boston Richie. Uh, you got me confused, man. This this new street, this new street stuff is real tricky nowadays. On one hand, you got 1090 Jake bringing the interrogation video to the scene. Bringing the audio to the scene, to the world. Then you know what it is. D then you got internet lawyers saying that Boston Richie wasn't snitching. Tenon and Jake saying you snitching. Internet lawyer saying, no, that's not what the case is. He's not snitching. Um, Boston Richie homeboy goes on say cheese. Try to do some damage control. I don't know if he got paid or not, but you tried to do some damage control. And at first glance, at first, when I first saw the video, I thought highly of you. But then when 1090 Jake showed the um, phone messages and how you was coming off, I seen like, man, you somewhat of a groupie too. Like you want fame too. And, and a lot of this got to do with y'all hating on that man. If he a snitch, he a snitch. Don't get me wrong. If he told, he told. But y'all been through that. This ain't nothing new. But now this man done blew up and he buzzing. And he got a wave going on. Y'all can't take that. Hey, that's just facts. But then, Boston Richie go on his Instagram page. And let it be known that all that was cap. He lied. Everything y'all seen in that interrogation thing, he spun them. He spun around like Barry Sanders in the interrogation room. He spun around and and shook um, the detectives like Barry Sanders for the Detroit Lions, man, back in the day. That's what Boston Richie was saying. All that was cap, and he just sent them on a wild goose chase. And that's what it is. And with that being said, it's just confusing how the new age play. It's not how back in the day the OGs did it. You know what I'm saying? OGs kept their mouth shut. Whether if they get one year, one month, a hundred years. I guess they kept their mouth shut. These new age dudes, they moving, they sticking and moving, they gonna they gonna work, they move uh and try to wiggle out. Hate it or love it. That's, that's what it seemed like, Boston. I heard your new mixtape. They were jamming. I'm trying to, I tried to support you and stuff like that, but you got the game in the shambles right now. Salute you. You just got a $7 million uh, deal with Epic. See, Epic know your name is in the algorithm. Either way it go, whether you snitch or you're solid, your name popping right now. They finna milk that for what it's worth. Get your money, partner. Uh, you don't know if you're gonna be here a day, a week, a year, a decade, man. So get your money. You need to walk light. Cause you already see you got haters. And uh, not just haters, you got real street dudes who stick to the code and they ain't going for that. So they could back do you, front do you, side do you, through the window. You know what I'm saying? Especially if your homeboy kept it quiet for all those years, then put you on blast. Once you blow it up, then uh, NFL 2 op has something to say. Put your your paperwork all on uh, live, and then 2 op. Is you gonna put? A, is that all you gonna do? You just put him on blast, and then you fall back like Homer Simpson in the bushes. That's what it seemed like. You ain't capitalizing off your, off your um, platform. What are you doing? You should be constantly dropping music while you had the ball, while you exposed them. You just exposed them and thought that was just going to be the end of it. You waiting on Kodak? Kodak trying to get back the way he was at. Like that man said, the first time your car, you had a car, another nigga bought it. First time. 
he caught the car, you know that they'll cost me. <laughs> hey, that's what Boston say. You feel me? To what? Get on your grind. Or just play the sideline. Just play the sideline. Stop letting that, stop Stop hating on, on people, man. Yeah, you expose them. But that's all you want to do is expose them. And now you back in the trenches when you had a chance to be in his position. Y'all dudes weird, man. Y'all dudes weird, man. You could have been exposing. But as soon as the man go to blowing up, now you want to expose him. Y'all dudes weird. I see through it. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Boston Richie. I don't know how you gonna come out of this. Can you spin the world like Barry Sanders? Can you spin this all the way around and make everybody uh, a Boston Richard fan again? Or will you just be uh, like an artist that is an acquired taste, um, a select few? Like when you're riding Dolo in the rental, busting jugs, you'll play Boston Richie. But when you're four deep riding uh, with your homeboys, with your partners, Boston Richie gets no play. That might be what it came to. That might be what it will come to. Like, people are still listening to Boston Richie on the tuck. You know, the females don't give a damn. They ain't in the street. They on the sidewalk. He got money. He talking about buying a Birkin bag. You think they finna not listen to him, but guess what? You know what? When they get around their baby daddy or when they go to gossiping, sipping their tea, yeah, they're going to throw little shots. They're going to throw you under the bus, Boston. But it is what it is. Them hoes still going to fuck. Know that. They still going to fuck. You know, um, and that's just facts. Um, I'm just sitting back like that meme with Michael Jackson eating the popcorn. I'm just sitting back waiting to see how the outcome go. Because at first, I wasn't a fan of Buster Richie. Then the new mixtape, he dropped Public Housing 2. It was straight. The first one was straight. The second one was straight also. But then all the allegations came out. Actually, the allegations came out right before. And then he dropped. But I still listened to it without judgment. And I was feeling it. And probably it was and partly it was due because it's been a lot a lack of music being dropped. Y'all artists gotta get back to putting out quality music, man. But that's on for another topic, man. Boston Richie, what you gonna do? You gonna barbecue a meal do? This your boy K, round the clock hip hop. If you ain't already did it, smash that like button, smash that subscribe, share, tell a friend. Salute. Yay.